man, YouTube team, keep it clean. It's crazy because uh, games like this, like they um, they bring out a lot of your friends, a lot of your friends who some of them you didn't even know still had your number. They they come out the woodworks like, hey hey, what's up, man? How you doing? You saw that game? Cause y'all already know, man. But anyway, it's all good. Shout out to the Dolphins, cause Dolphins, woo, they took care of business. Um, well. Team, keep it clean. St. Graven here with another video. And in this video, I'm here to share my post-game thoughts from the game that uh, we all watched together, uh, which was a lot of fun. It was a very fun game. Very fun game. We obviously wish it would have went a different way, but that's part of football, man. It happens. You can't win them all. Um, and Ravens certainly lost this one. Uh, they completely collapsed, fell apart. Um, yeah, you know. Uh, so, I mean, where do we even start? I, the offense, they came out. They were, I mean, before the offense even came out hot, special teams, Devin Duvernay, they started the game like, okay, a kickoff return for a touchdown. Like, when you start a game with a kickoff return for a touchdown, you just know you're getting ready to win. You just know. And then on top of that, these dudes, they messed around and they, uh, they, uh, they, they scored a touchdown on a kickoff return. And then they end up stopping two in them. Cause they got, they got, they ended up getting the interception. Um, Marcus Williams caught that little crazy tip drill pick. So I'm like, okay, hold up now. These dudes started perfect on special teams. They started, they they gave up a little bit on off, I mean on defense, excuse me. But then they end up getting a pick. So I'm like, okay, they started almost perfect on defense. I'm like, hey, offense, go ahead and do your thing, baby. Do your thing. Do what you got to do. Um. But yeah, we 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 know it. It was uh, with the offense, they ain't start off so perfect, but they um they they built up a nice lead, man. They built up a nice lead. Uh, Lamar Jackson with the the, the seventy five yard touchdown to Rashad Bateman, and Bateman been getting his man seventy five yard touchdown to Bateman. Um, Mark Andrews with that long catch that went to like the one yard line. Then the Ravens were like, hold up, now we. We can't come all this way. We almost got the touchdown. We thought we had the touchdown, but we didn't get the touchdown. We can't come all this way and leave Mark Andrews without a touchdown. Do the play action on first down. And I really thought it was going to be a run, but they did a play action Mark Andrews touchdown, so he got his. Um, and then later on, Lamar Jackson with the, uh, the pass to Demarcus Robinson in the end zone. Another touchdown. So I'm like, man, the, the, the Ravens off well, the Ravens passing offense, not the Ravens offense, but the Ravens passing offense, they were doing that thing. Then Lamar Jackson, he like, man, these a lot of these people, they forgot about me. They forgot about me. They forgot what I could do. They, they've been talking about my weight and all that, talking about, uh, I don't know, if, they don't know if I'm as fast as I used to be or whatnot. Let, let me show them something real quick. And Lamar, they did a the little RPO. He kept it. And initially, I'm like, man, what, what sparked Lamar to break off like that, to, to break off on that run like that? Then they showed the replay. And they showed all this green in front of him. And I was like, oh, okay, now I get why Lamar took off like that. I, I, I get it. And, boy, yeah, because that boy took off, man. He took all the way off. Um, and got the touchdown, too. And initially I was thinking, oh, man, Lamar, yeah, he bulked up a little bit. And he, he, he's not as fast as he used to be, but he's still crazy fast. But then when they showed the replay, I'm like, Lamar was looking back a lot. So you know how you're running? If you're running full speed... And you looking forward, then you running full speed. But if you running and you looking back, you ain't going to be running full speed. And Lamar was looking back, and then he was, like, moving to the left and the right. I was like, oh, okay. So Lamar wasn't even going full speed. But he still beat Xavier Howard. So, And I know somebody brought up in the live stream, they were like, if, if it's a quarterback that's outrunning cornerbacks, that's something serious right there. And I was thinking, oh, yeah, that's a really good point. Um, but yeah, man, Ravens built up a nice lead, but the, the same problems remained. Couldn't get anything going on the ground. Couldn't get anything going on the ground. It's like that. Their best runs, I think, came with Justice Hill. Kenny and Drake was trying, but it just wasn't working out. With Mike Davis, the Dolphins were like, hey, Mike Davis ain't about to go off on us. Nope, we ain't having it. If it's going to be number 28 on the Ravens, he ain't going off on us. And they stopped him. Every time, on the goal line, like, 
like third, second and second and one, third and one, whatever it was. They were like, oh, if it's Mike Davis getting the ball, no, nah, he, he ain't going off on us. They stopped him literally every single time. Every single time. And I'm like, man, what they got against Mike Davis? Um, Drake, again, Drake was trying. He was trying, but it just, he, he couldn't do nothing. Then Justice Hill, he, he got a nice little run, but he wasn't really featured that much. They ain't really using that much. So offense, they build up this big lead, and they, um, but then they just stopped. That was the problem with the offense. They just stopped. A big play, what, probably one of the biggest plays of the game, um, it came on a third and a fourth down call. It was when the Ravens were up big. I forgot exactly what the score was, but the Ravens were up big. It was third down. They, they motioned Patrick Ricard, and then they ran. They did a little QB keeper with Lamar. And I thought it was a great play design, but the Dolphins just executed better. They stopped Lamar. I'm like, okay. So fourth down came around, and I'm like, all right, they're getting ready to throw the ball. There's no way that Lamar is keeping. They're getting ready to throw the ball. They did a Lamar keeper again. And I thought it was just such a, a terrible situational play call. I thought it was just so bad. It was so bad. But um, with the Ravens, uh, first half the offense was doing their thing. Second half, especially in the fourth quarter, they just stopped. They just stopped. It, just, it, it seemed like, all right, we got a lead. We straight. We could be a little conservative or whatnot now, but they just stopped. I know um, that pass to Isaiah Likely. Oh, well, Isaiah Likely, he tried to reach up for it. I don't know if it was a little behind him, but he tried to reach up and get it, but he just couldn't get it in. The offense just, they didn't score. And I don't think they scored in the, uh, in the fourth quarter. They just stopped. They didn't get no touchdowns in the fourth quarter. They just stopped. But when your offense puts up 28 points, like, you would think, like, okay, especially a Ravens team. Like, if a Ravens offense put up 28 points, especially with what, what's expected of Ravens defenses, like, okay, yeah, they got it. No, they ain't have it. They ain't have it. Um, running game continues to be an issue. Uh, we'll see what happens when J.K. Dobbins gets back. But based off of um, – the way that the run blocking is, can we really expect that much difference from a J.K. Dobbins? We'll see, of course, but should we really go into this thing expecting, all right, J.K. Dobbins is going to be back, so our running game should be on point now. Me, honestly, I'm not expecting this like major change. Like, oh, J.K. Dobbins is going to be, I mean, I hope it's a big change, but I can't expect it based off of how the run blocking has been. They ain't been opening up lanes. They ain't been opening up little creases and whatnot. They ain't been opening up holes like that for the running backs. So why should I expect when J.K. Dobbins returns that, oh, okay, everything's great now? Because it's the same offensive line. I mean, maybe Ronnie Stanley will be back week three. We'll see. Maybe Nick Boyle will be active week three. We'll see. We'll see. Because those are two big parts of the running game. And then again, we got to remember Ronnie Stanley – we can't just expect him to come back and be like, all right, Ronnie Stanley of old. Ronnie Stanley, top five left tackle. That's an unfair expectation. He ain't played in so long. He ain't played in so long. So the expectation, got to be realistic about your expectations with Ronnie Stanley. So, I mean, we'll see what happens. But, again, keep, keep that in mind. When you see Ronnie Stanley finally come out on the field. But, yeah, man, Ravens, um, passing the offense was doing their thing. Again, for another week, running offense, nothing there. Nothing there. It's like they, they just they can't get their run game going. I've seen a lot of people say, a lot, I've seen a lot of people say, oh, man, well, if the Ravens, um, they, uh, if they ain't got no good running attack, then what good is Roman for? Now, Roman, I felt like early on he was calling a really good game. Um, of course, there was that... Uh, there was that 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 exchange between Linderbaum and uh, Lamar, where I believe Lamar fumbled. That's on him. That's at the goal line. You can't do that. You can't do that. And what's crazy is that somebody doing our live stream, they were like, "Oh, that's that's gonna come back to bite the Ravens in the butt," and it did. It certainly did. It's easy to look back at a game and be like, "Oh man, they should have kicked the field goal." Oh, uh, they should have took the points. I I didn't have a problem with any of the fourth downs that they went for. 
Um, like like the the, the, the QB. What I think that I think that QB sneaked to Lamar. I think that was actually on third down. The way he fumbled, I think that was actually on third down. It wasn't on fourth down. I don't even remember. But I didn't have a problem with the play call. But that was all execution. That was not on zero at all. That was not a bad play call at all. That was all on execution. Now the fourth down, where on the previous play on the third down they had did the QB keeper. Lamar kept it, Pat Ricard came in motion. That was a good play design. But on the fourth down where they did a QB keeper two plays in a row, that was bad play calling. That was really bad play calling. It's terrible. Um, but yeah, offense, if if offense just falls asleep and they just stop scoring points, then that's not even necessarily a recipe for disaster, but that that can be a contributing factor. But the biggest contributing factor. Just a terrible defense. Terrible defense. Um, I mean, we could talk about special teams. Jordan Stout, he had a couple punts, did his thing. Devin du- Devin Duvernay got that kick return for a touchdown, which was great. And I don't think he returned the kick after that. Whole game. I don't think he returned the kick after that. I don't. I don't remember him bringing the kick out of the end zone ever again after that. And maybe the Dolphins were kicking a little bit different. Because they were like, oh, no, we ain't trying to give up another one. But he did not return the kick after that at all. Dolphins were like, oh, no, we're making adjustments. So shout out to the Dolphins making adjustments. Um, but defense, oof, defense. <laughs> oh, I've seen so many comments that talks about, oh, man, the Ravens invested all this money on defense just to have them fall flat just like that. It's a tough game, tough game. Marcus Peters, this was his first game in over a year and wasn't pretty. He did have one little knockout where he uh, pushed the defender, I mean, pushed the wide receiver out of bounds, forced the incompletion. But um, he also gave up a touchdown to Tyreek Hill. And Tyreek Hill, obviously, one of the best receivers in the league, but still, Marcus Peters just got, just got beat, didn't look back, didn't turn around or anything like that. Touchdown. Touchdown. Marlon Humphrey, I, it was weird with him because I know he was dealing with the groin injury and whatnot. There was some times when he was on the field, then they would take him off. And obviously with Marcus Peters, it was the same thing too. So these rookies, these rookies, they, they had a lot of pressure on them. Pepe Williams, Jalen Moore Davis, they were involved a lot. Both good and bad, obviously, but they were involved a lot uh, in this game. A whole lot. They were featured a lot. Uh, they were part of a lot of plays, both good and bad, but uh, they were out there. And this was a big test for them. Sometimes they pass the test, sometimes they fail the test, and everything in between. Um, Ravens defense just, oh, I, I don't even know, man, because it's like going into the game, it's like, all right, Tyreek Hill, know him, one of the best receivers in the league. And the thing I love about Tyreek Hill is that he is extremely efficient and smart. When he catches the ball, when he's trying to get yard, he is an extremely efficient and smart runner. He makes the most of every single play. Every single play. He makes the most of it. He outran his own body. That's why he kept catching all them cramps and stuff. Because his, his body, his mind was moving faster than his body was. And his body was like, whoa, 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 Tyreek, slow down, man. We can't keep up with you. But he balled out. He balled out. Two touchdowns. One on Marcus Peters, but the other, the second, wide open. Wide open. And it looked like there was a big miscommunication with Marcus Williams and and Kyle Hamilton. I think Kyle Hamilton was supposed to drop back and Marcus Williams was going to be the blitzer because they were back and forth arguing after that. But after the play was over, but who knows? Who knows? I'm not sure exactly what they were supposed to be doing there, but it was obviously a big hiccup. Big hiccup. Probably worse than a hiccup, but it was rough. Um, mm, mm, mm. But yeah, Marlon Humphrey, they they were taking him in and taking him out, and I think he was actually out for the last drive, I think. It, it was weird, man, but uh, that last touchdown to um, Jalen Waddle. I think, who was it? Was it Jalen Moore Davis that was on him? That ended up being on him in the end zone? He just beat him. He beat him from jump. He beat him from jump. And, and shout out to Tua because Tua, 
That boy was on point, man. Tua showed a lot of maturity this game. Uh, he showed a lot of uh, progression this game, just progression as a quarterback. Because if you you throw two picks early on, shout out to Marcus Williams, by the way, well, early on Marcus Williams, but you throw two picks, a lot of quarterbacks could have been like, man, this this ain't my game. I'm done. I ain't, man, I can't do it. I'm, 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 I'm done. We gonna lose. It's a wrap. Not Tua. Not this game. Nope. Not at all. Tua came there. He threw them two picks, and he was like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done throwing those. And one of them was a crazy, the first one was a crazy tip drill interception that Marcus Williams just ended up making it happen. And then Marcus went, the second one was a nice, beautiful, toe drag swag. It, it was nice, man. But Tua said, oh, okay, watch this. Threw the screen to Jalen Waddle, touchdown. Um, threw the pass to uh, 85, touchdown. Threw it in the back of the end zone over Chuck Clark. High, high point. Mike Gesicki, Jasicki, whatever his name. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. My apologies. But he high pointed that ball. Touchdown. Tyreek Hill beat Marcus Peters. Touchdown. Tyreek Hill wide open. No Ravens defenders around him at all. Touchdown. And then to clutch it out at the very end, the game winning one. Jalen Waddle. I think he beat Jalen Moore Davis. Touchdown. This boy threw, it, threw two picks, but it was like, ah, oh, okay, that's whatever. Threw six touchdowns. Six touchdowns. Six touchdowns. Marlon Humphrey, one of the highest paid corners. Marcus Peters, he at the end of his deal, but he still getting paid a lot of money. Marcus Williams, 70 mil. And we've been talking about that 70 mil. Like, okay, Ravens paid a nice little chunk of change. Kyle Hamilton, first round draft pick. There's Chuck Clark, too. They couldn't stop him, though. Couldn't stop the Dolphins. Couldn't stop the Dolphins. And Dolphins did their thing. They, they, Dolphins, amazing game from the Dolphins. And way to close it out. A lot of people, including myself, was thinking, okay, yeah, Ravens got this. Ravens were up big. They were up big. They were up 21. I think even in the fourth quarter, they were up 21. Dolphins came right back. They came right back. And did that thing. Came right back. And I remember it's crazy because football is such a game of inches. Such a game of inches. I remember uh, us having a conversation in the live stream. Like, man, should they should they take Lamar Jackson out? And I was saying, nah, it's a little too early. Because this was when the Ravens were up by 14, I believe. I was like, oh, should they take Lamar Jackson out? I was like, I was like nah, nah. It's a little, little, little too early, like I said, man. A little too early. But then the offense started coming back. So I'm like, oh, yeah, Ravens Raven definitely can't take Lamar out now. And, yeah. There was never even a chance for Lamar Jackson to come out. Because <laughs> the offense made it a game again. They made it a game again. Pass rush. Early on. Did his thing, but adjustments. Dolphins made the necessary adjustments. Ravens didn't. Ravens didn't. This was just simply a game where the Ravens just, they, they got out coached. They got out played. They just got beat. Straight up. They just got beat. Just got beat. And um, what's crazy too. When you look look back at Ravens offense, look at the Hail Mary. A lot of people are like, oh, man, that should have been passing the fence. The defender, he, he made the contact with Rashad Bateman. Da, 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 da. But I'm thinking like, man, like the offense has some funny calls going against them throughout the game. Ravens can't even be like, oh, man, it was because of the calls. That's why we lost. No. Them calls were in favor of the Ravens all game long. All game long. All game long. The Ravens could they couldn't make it happen, man. Couldn't make it happen. Um hmm. now uh something to keep in mind that the Ravens are one and one. They literally got fifteen games left. 
So it's not like, oh, this is the end of the season, it's a wrap now, it's done, they, it's over. No, it ain't nothing like that. But you just wonder, well, how do, how's the bounce back going to be? How the Ravens going to respond? Going against the Patriots next week. And that's, that's going to be an interesting one. And, and we'll see, of course, see how it goes. But, um, yeah, they, they, they got a lot on their plate uh, moving forward. Um, but, yeah, the defense just, they couldn't. And it's like I, I was thinking and hoping, like, all right, so who's going to make the play on defense? Who's going to make the big stop? Who's going to make the big play? Because pass rush early on, pass rush was doing this thing. Then pass rush just, they disappeared. The pressure disappeared. QB hits, they disappeared. Pass rush just disappeared. Disappeared completely. So it was gone. It, it, it evaporated. And I'm like, man, what, what happened? Ravens tried some different blitzes and whatnot. And the thing with the blitzes was they, they were close, but Tua, he was closer. And what I mean that by he was closer, the Ravens blitzes were close to success, but Tua was even closer to success. And he got success because Tua kept making these quick decisions, these smart decisions. And it was like, oh, OK, we see you, Tua. And Tua was like, look, man, I, I keep hearing all these Lamar Jackson, the Miami rumors after this year. I keep hearing about it. They keep talking about it. But let me show them why I belong here, why I should be here. Let me show them why they don't need to trade for Lamar. Why they don't need to try to get Lamar. Six touchdowns. Six touchdowns. Six of them. Six. The two or through six touchdowns. That is crazy. This was one of the biggest Ravens collapses ever. But give credit where credit is due. It's one of the best Dolphins comebacks ever. Especially in recent history. Because these, again, Dolphins were out. They were out of it. It was a whooping. But Dolphins said, whoa, 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 slow down there, buddy. It ain't over till it's over. And they made it happen. So, where did the Ravens go from here? Um, again, got some guys coming. But now, one silver lining, one good thing. Ravens escaped without any significant injury. I believe. I know Pepe Williams, he had a little ankle or calf injury or whatnot. He looked like he was fine, though. But, yeah, Ravens didn't have, or Devin DuVernay, he had a concussion. So he could be back next week. Well, he could be out. I think he'll be back, but we'll see. Because you never know on concussions. But Ravens didn't face any serious long-term injury. So, hey, there goes a positive. So that's a good thing. But... Now it's like, man, I know um, this, this game brought up a lot of questions. A lot of questions for a lot of Ravens fans. Um, and we, we're going to address that, those questions throughout the week. But mm, it's just it's one of those things, one of them games where you just feel like, oh, Ray, Ravens got it. Somebody going to make the play to make the stop on defense. Somebody gonna, but nope, nobody made it. Nobody made it. This was trial by fire uh, for Jalen Lamore Davis and Pepe Williams because they were out there a lot. And it's like, hey, you, you drafted these guys. All right, here we go. Let's see. I ain't. I didn't see Daryl Worley at all. And I don't know if I missed him, but I didn't see him at all. I know he got called up to the active roster. I think he actually got, is, is on the active roster right now. But I don't remember seeing him at all. But, yeah, man, this was – um. Big game for coaching too, man, because it's like, man, if the if your rookies are struggling, you you can't keep putting them in bad positions. If your rookies are struggling, you you can't keep counting. And I know you want to be all confident. I get that, but you got to know what it is, man. Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle, those ain't just two average receivers. They're not like. You, you got to put your, your rookies in better positions to have success. You got to, man. You got to. This um, loss was credited, obviously, to the defense. Defense just, they gave up everything. Um, but the offense, they just stopped. 
I know um look looking it's easy in hindsight, but again, I didn't have any problem with the fourth down with them going for it on the fourth downs, but just with some of the play calling, that was my only issue. Um if the defense I mean if the Ravens offense could have scored another field goal, that would have changed stuff. Obviously they would have scored another touchdown. That definitely would have changed stuff, but Ravens offense, they just stopped. They just stopped. But the defense, they just they just stopped stopping. Ravens defense was like, all right, we making all these stops early in the first quarter, in the first half, da 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 da. Then they were like, ah, you know what? No, nah, we ain't got to stop nobody no more. Kyle Hamilton, I know a lot of people been talking about Kyle Hamilton. He's out of position or whatnot. Um, look, communication or whatnot. But he's a rookie. Got to keep that in mind. Like, if this is a veteran or something, but he's a rookie. You got to keep that in mind when thinking about and evaluating Kyle Hamilton. He's a rookie. This is literally his first game, his first games in the NFL, his first regular season games in the NFL. He just got drafted. So it's going to be a process, man. But Ravens can't afford, they can't be afford to be hiccuping on these processes, man. Because, hey, games like this, stuff like that happens. You hiccup during the process, hey, somebody's wide open. Touchdown. Touchdown. So, I don't know, man. We'll uh, we'll see how it goes, man. Um, just big difference from last week to this week. You know, every game, every game got its obstacles. And every game got its different challenges and whatnot. Um, but in this game, like man, Ravens they they struggled, man. On on defense they struggled, on off on offense running game struggled still. Um, they struggled, man. I don't think Lamar got sacked though, so that's a good thing. But they just struggled, man. They struggled. They couldn't close it out. Um. And uh, man, like Jalen Waddle, he went off. Tyreek Hill, he went off. Both it's like both of the two wide receivers who I was worried about the most. They were both they both went off. It wasn't even like one or the other. It was like all right, Jalen Waddle, because that's how I thought it was gonna be. Because that's how it was going. It was like all right, Jalen Waddle, he going off. All right, but Tyreek Hill, they keeping him in check for the most part. Cool. All right. Then Tyreek Hill start going off. And Jalen Waddle kept going off. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> One of these games. And then Jalen Waddle showed that clutch. Him and Tua showed that clutch. With that last touchdown. I was like, oof. That was a beautiful play. Beautiful play. I think actually the one of the best plays from Tua this game came when uh it was on the touchdown to number 85. I I'm not sure what his name is. Number 85 on the Dolphins, though. Because Tua dropped back, Broderick Washington was chasing him, and Tua did this little spin move. So Broderick Washington was a thing of the past, and then he readjusted his eyes to find his open receiver. Boom. Hit 85. Touchdown. That was a beautiful play. It was a beautiful play by Tua, man. And Tua, he, man, he, he stepped up this game a lot. A whole lot. Got to give him his credit, man. Give Tua his credit, man. Can't no Ravens fans talk no trash about no Tua, man, because Tua went out there and did his thing. Did his thing. So, shout out to Mike McDonald. I was thinking, like, all right, Hawkball getting ready to shut down Mike McDonald. But, no, Mike McDonald said, no, 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 no. I'm about to out-coach these two Super, Super Bowl quarterbacks. Two in a row. I'm about to out-coach them both. I got this. Okay. And he did it. He did it. Ray, Ravens coaching staff was in shambles this game. In shambles, especially defense, obviously. In shambles. In shambles. Um, I, uh, we can hope that when Travis Jones does come back, it'll probably be next week, we can hope that he is a big difference maker as far as the pass rush, defensive line, just getting some push up front. We can hope that he's a big difference maker. We we hope that he is. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, 
They just team the whole team got to get better, man. They got to get better. It's like offense. They flipped the script this week. Last week they came out slow. They finished off fast. This week they came out fast. They finished off slow. So offense just need to maintain a level of consistency. Defense last week. Pretty much throughout the whole game I know they gave a touchdown at the very end But pretty much throughout the whole game Defense was doing their thing Playing a little bit of bend But hey, we ain't breaking it all This week They were not even necessarily locked down early on But they were doing their thing early on And then they were like Oh, you know what? We're going to both bend and break Yeah, hey, Dolphins, do what you want Do what you want And you know One of the best play calls in my opinion From this game from the Dolphins, it came in the fourth quarter. I think it was on the last drive for the Dolphins. The, the touchdown, uh, the game-winning drive for the Dolphins. I don't remember what down and distance it was, but Dolphins were in, maybe they were in a shotgun. They did a draw to, I think, Raheem Mostert. And it's like, it, it caught me off guard. It, caught all, it obviously caught all the Ravens off guard because he broke a big chunk of yards on that one. Big chunk of yards. And I was like, oh, boy. And it, it's like when, when you were watching a game, it's like you just felt like, oh, boy, here we go. As you watch the score get closer and closer, it just felt like, oh, here we go. Oh, not this. Oh, is this really happening? But again, I, I still felt, all right, who's going to make the play? Who's going to be the one to step up? Who's going to make the big stop? Nobody. Nobody. And it's like you... Excuse me. You see the Ravens invest all this in defense and it's like, all right, who's it going to be? Because it's like the guys that they invested in on offense, well, two out of the three, who they pay big money to, they showed up. That being, well, Lamar Jackson didn't get big money, but he first round pick. He showed up. Mark Andrews, he showed up. Ronnie Stanley, well, you know that story. But even if you go first round pick, hey, Tyler Linderbaum, he showed up. He was doing his thing and whatnot. So it's like, okay. But you just, you just, you need more. You need more. Rashad Bateman, first round pick, he showed up. Oh, he showed up in a big way. Big way. But sadly, it, it, it wasn't enough. Even though it was enough, but the defense was like, no, nah, that's not enough. It's not enough. That second half offense, especially in the fourth quarter, they were like, oh, no, that's not enough. So I know it's hard to, to have a complete game in the NFL. I know it's super hard, super tough. But um, I was hoping the Ravens would have that. It was looking like they were going to have that, but everything just fell apart. So now they got the Patriots. Uh, we'll see how that one goes. Uh should be a good one. Um. In New England So it's going to present its challenges or whatnot, But we'll see what goes down So anyway, Team Keep It Clean I appreciate y'all, I love y'all uh, Just a nice little reminder Ravens are 1-1 one one. Um, Yeah, we know they lost against the Dolphins But please Please don't let it ruin your week It should it is, It's too many more important things in football That affect your week Or impact your week To, to let a football game ruin it Seriously like, it, it'll be okay. It'll be all right. But I love y'all, team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. And just like the Ravens' defense was for the majority of the second half, I'm out.